Hey YouTube and thank you for watching Junkworks DIY Garage. Well, it is the long awaited safety wire or safety switch or whatever you want to call it video. And what it is is in my truck I did one of my more most popular videos I ever did was how to uh, get this stupid thing to start when it wasn't wanting to start. Um, you can go watch that video if you want, which that's what I say. Uh, if you like this video or want to go watch other videos on this truck or any other vehicle I have, go check out the playlists in my channel. Uh, that's the best way to see all my different videos I have. Um, this particular one is the 98 GMC slash Chevy uh, playlist and I have several videos on this including what you see here where all the plastics are off of this. I have a video of taking all the plastics off. I have a video of taking the steering wheel off. Um, this truck does not have an airbag so if you have an airbag in your vehicle, then you need to do all your safety precautions for that. I have disconnecting my battery, so we'll start there. Disconnect your battery. But after that, this gizmo here with all the wires, and there's a box right here, and then it goes down under the dash and plugs in, um, appears to hopefully, hopefully this is the problem, be bad. If it's in this little box here, you're probably screwed. Although, I will say, in the kit I bought, which I will show you in a moment, it came with this right here. The whole whole mechanism, this whole switch here. Uh, so if you want, I'm gonna, I did a separate video on putting that in right there. I may have to take it out to make all this work. I don't know. Um, I do not believe I should have to, but I'm not sure exactly how to get this box off yet. And here it is. Now, I got this and the switch that I just showed you uh, at carparts.com. Now, I also was looking at these, thinking I needed to do this, saw that they had a pretty good price on them, and uh, didn't end up doing it because I wasn't ready to get it done. And then they went away for quite some time. Now I got on their mailing list saying, hey, if this part comes into stock, please contact me. And when it did, they contacted me on my email and told me it was in stock. And I went ahead and ordered it as soon within like that day. Um, so I don't know if they'll have these in. Hopefully they will. If they don't, you can find these um, in several different places, including walmart.com, but they are a lot more money. Yet again, I will put the price of this that came with this, as well as the switch here with a new key and everything, for this price right here. So, the first thing we need to do, pull that off. Also, on my channel, on my playlist, I have a video on that. So go check that out. It will show you how to take this off and everything. So I may have to go watch it because I don't remember exactly how that came off. We got this all torn apart. Um, I'm not sure if in that video if I um, undid this piece here when I was doing stuff. But uh, that was a 10 mil four 10 millimeter screws. And uh, that metal piece there under the dash comes out that's underneath this piece and then these right here were I believe seven millimeter um, but now we have the wires that go right there underneath there and around and down underneath the dash. Appears there's probably like a, I believe it's a seven millimeter, I'm not sure, uh, screw right in the middle of that. And something else, hopefully you can see this. I had to pop this off of here. Ugh, stuff on it. The vent off, out of here. There's nothing really holding it in other than it's got little grabber things that kind of hold on to the inside, but I didn't appear to uh, wreck it all that much and then this you got to pull this off of here but uh 
to get to this. This is all kind of inside this side. Pull this off and uh, pull this out and then you can separate these two. Hopefully that made sense. But this appears to be a seven millimeter. Like I said, I have undone my battery yet again. Make sure you do that before you do any electrical stuff. seeing something that may pose a problem there's a bar right here that seems like it is going to be in the way of this coming all the way out well I have my trailer brake stuff hooked up to this and uh, I need to undo it so I can get this stuff out of my way because we're definitely gonna have to crawl up underneath here and uh, remove this bar. Whoop. Let's see if I can get more light on the subject here. Remove this bar right here. It needs to go away because it's keeping that from unplugging. As well as if you can see up here, right here, and over here, there are wires right there and there that are going up to things and I think there's a plug right there which is actually part of this harness that I also need to unplug so there's like three either two or three wires if not more up oh, one of them's plugged up uh, where is it to this thing here that's gonna have to come undone but I don't believe I have that wire um, one of them's plugged right behind here, which I think is the wire that I need to replace. And so now we got that out of there, we can finally get to this here. Um, I have noticed that in, and I removed the whole bottom panel and uh, left that there. I have noticed that uh, we did wire into this, probably a switched power uh, going in here. So I'm going to have to figure out how we did that and redo that for this. Uh, quite honestly, I, can't, I think this was already here uh, in the truck. I can't remember if I did it or if it was already here i think this was already here in the truck but anyhow so i got to figure all that out but normally unless you have the same thing going this red wire right here you didn't have to deal with um, but all in all i'm gonna go ahead and probably take all this tape off because i do know that part of this under here i'm gonna have to leave uh unless this is just totally the wrong thing everything looks like it should work but there's extra wires that after that come from other places that bundle into this i believe yet again you'll know when i know so i'm going to go ahead and start taking this tape the black black tape off of here or whatever this is it, it's kind of a rubbery tape off of here and uh pull this out of here i believe i've already told you what size that is when i started doing that in fact it's already i already got it out so as you can see that's just unplugs from there um and we got to deal with unplugging whatever these are here um and obviously yet again the red one here so uh, i probably actually before i mess with any more of this so i'm not hanging too much off of these I'm going to try and get those out yet again. Those are up underneath here where I don't believe I'm going to be able to get a camera to. This green and black one was plugged into that whatever it is thing. Then this one here which is orange, blue, and kind of a tan or brown color right here was plugged into this right here which was actually pushed up in here so um 
with this one let's see here now let's see with this one which i think with this stuff on it with all this fuzzy stuff i think it was glued up somewhere but it was just hanging anyway i took a screwdriver was able to push on this and that pushed out with this one right here the it's like green and white stripe green with white stripe and black it had this little thing here which you had to get a screwdriver underneath and kind of pry out and pop this piece out first and then with a bit of difficulty i took a screwdriver and was able to push on this yet again and and get it to pull out of that right there so with this green thing here try not to break it or lose it because i believe i could be wrong but oh no i think i am wrong so don't lose it either way because we're gonna have to reuse that plug somehow i believe and get it plugged back in this appears to plug into the one that is orange tan and blue which it is it is tan blue and orange so the colors are the same so that one just plugs into the one like i said that was just kind of hanging above the column there i got this unhooked i've got these unhooked now i have my uh brake module thing here for the trailer brakes um, i've noticed here i need to untape it right here um, these wires here somehow are going to have to unhook from each side of this we need to get these out and i think they just pop out i could be wrong but it does appear that they just kind of pop out of here right in here there's a little bump so i think there's something just kind of behind that you're gonna have to be really careful with this stuff you break it you're gonna have to go find it because this does not come with the wire these two things here on the sides don't come with the wiring harness so yeah there's on the side of that there's just a little bump and there's a corresponding catch right here so same thing with this one here you just got to pry it out a little bit bring it up and those pop pull right out and then those dangle by themselves so it does appear i won't have to unhook this which is kind of nice we're looking up underneath the steering wheel here um, we have these separated from this and now this is all a separate system here and uh, we got a couple of what if well there's only one actually one of these here that we need to take loose that's hooking it to the column here the other one's just holding it together so we'll just let it be and then i'm going to actually have to hop up in the truck here and uh start working up over here behind the steering wheel here we got this little black doodad box here um i have actually already unplugged this from here um it normally plugs in right in that area you got to push on the little button and it'll pop out it, that's fairly simple um but behind here let's pull this out of the way a little bit here um i'm hoping you can see right there is a reverse torx screw um i have it's the only one i have it's the one that i bought for taking off all the plastics and stuff because you need a reverse torque for that as well and it is a 5e5 and i call it reverse torques i'm not sure if that's the technical team name for it but instead of it being a male torx fitting it's a female torx style so in that case i have gone in here and i actually think this one i'm gonna get my head in your way here i think it's too big but it is working so i would say whatever this one is is technically smaller 
but it's not in there super tight so this one is working it is up to you if you would like to go find the right size there it is right there and it's that little dilly malabar there hopefully you can see it this is what we're actually replacing here oh it does look like there's another one should be up in here right there is another one but there's no way you're going to get anything in between the box and this right here so i'm going to have to mess with this and see what i can figure out okay since i can't get to that screw down there for now i did also notice there's another little doodad here that plugs in i'm wondering if i need to pull this out i'm gonna do that first i've already done this on another video but because i'm thinking i'm gonna need to do this i'm going to do this so watch closely i'm not going to explain anything i'm not going to answer questions if you want to know how to do this you go watch my video on how to do it in my playlist on my channel i thought it was going this direction and actually it's going this direction the clip is actually right there so right in this area right here is a clip i'm going to reach through here and try and see if i can push this out go all right so go in through here the leatherman actually worked pretty good and it somehow pushes on that little tab and allows it to turn uh, from there okay so I'm not gonna put it back in but basically you push this through here and kind of give it a little bit of a push like this you can see that it, it keeps it from hitting there. Then the whole thing turns like that. Turns to the, the outside of the truck, I guess. Turns to the right. And then it pops out. But I do think you have to have your ignition out. So, yet again, go watch that video if you couldn't figure out how I did it. Sorry to force you to watch a video, but thems is the brakes i was not able to find any kind of a screwdriver bit that i could find that was less than like 60 bucks or something like that i found like one set that was 60 bucks that would probably fit down in here just perfect and work but what i did find was this six point um let's see what it says quarter inch drive one eighth inch six point deep socket um so and i got it at napa it was like five bucks a little bit less than five bucks but uh, it looks it appears anyhow we shall see so i dropped my screwdriver down there i remember to get that but that i can put it sideways kind of in here and get on there and uh get a hold of it so it doesn't quite fit well when this is tight it didn't quite fit in there like straight but i was able to get a kind of an angle so it, it went so it appears that that'll work to get this off and don't lose it like i probably just did so we got it out this hopefully yeah just pulls out and our wires are now gone i am guessing now that i should be able to reverse the process here um this needs to go under that way so it will fit and then i need to make sure i don't know yep this has to line up with that and quite honestly unless this turns seeing how that works 
Um, so I, because I don't want to, didn't want to mess with this one because it's definitely. Here, let's see if I can show you this. You look at the way this one comes. So we got old and new. This one is turning this way. This one's turning this way. So instead of messing with this one, I took the old one. Just these fit in there okay. And actually, I turned it. Oh, nope, wrong way. See, it's got a spring in there. I turned it that direction. So now you can see it's about the same as that one. And see, I've kind of messed this one up now a little bit. So hopefully it still is good. So I should be able to turn this one without messing it up. So that it's lined up the same one as this, same way as this one. So hopefully you saw that. Um, so it just turns clockwise or counterclockwise be careful if it's hard to turn you're turning it incorrectly um, it should it just turns this way or that way hopefully you were able to see it but now they are lined up the same I should be able to put it in where the old one was so now we are going to take this and we are going to hope that it lines up with the holes here also need to make sure this gets put around here okay that one in there now I'm gonna get the screws and same way as they came out put them in I don't think you need to watch that and we're gonna bring this around and we got the little pressure point here it needs to go in the little hole here so I'm putting the tip thing into the hole and then this little bump up here goes through the two metal pieces hopefully you can kind of see this and then once it's in there then we're going to turn it counterclockwise well got to make sure the wires aren't are kind of in between the little box here and the switch so it's going to be kind of a difficult slightly difficult there we go and then turn it and then that should be the end of that those will go up underneath there that'll go there then we got our other plug here which uh, should plug in right up here oh that feels good hasn't been that good for a while and then I am going to reinstall my switch I found my first little hiccup it's not that big a deal but this goes in here and as you can see this this wire this is the old one is nice and tight and goes around this really nice as to where this one's kind of all bundled up and I can't really get it to loosen up here and part of that is because of the way they did the taping here so I'm just gonna undo what they have here for tape and try to get this to lay around here a little better in this area because um, this all has to fit up in here once it's under the dash i don't really care if there's a bit of a bundle up in here uh, something else the way it feels like it needs to go the way it's kind of laying it appears it goes this way but it does not um, i had a double check because i didn't think it did because i remember when i was doing uh some of the wiring for this brake system which if you want to watch my rv brake system the way i wired it up in here um, i'm going to have a, a a separate video on that and not really how about the brake system or how i wired it but how i fixed what they had done um, but regardless what i'm trying to show you right now is that this white one was on the bottom and that i know so this actually needs to kind of twist up in here and go in so the white one is on the bottom now as far as the colors of all the wires they do appear to be the same mostly all right so i just looked at this and it's it's all wired the same um slightly different sizes of wires slightly different colors of wiring 
um, but they're still a similar color. They're the same color, they just don't look exactly the same, but that's all right. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and undo all this uh, tape that they taped up here, get this in better shape here so it fits better. So you probably can't see it all, but I got it. So it's a little bit more tidy here with some tape. It should go around there. I'll put that together there a little bit later, but first, I'm going to take this and uh, get it up in here. White one goes down. This little piggy here hooks into this one up here. I'm going to try and get that around, hook it in, and then just shove it back up above the column here. Um, but first, these ones here hook into either side. Don't get them confused of which one goes where. And they just hook in like this. And I almost forgot this right here. Uh, I don't remember exactly how it went on. I went ahead and kind of cleaned it up a little bit here. And uh, it should kind of go around a lot of this stuff to I think it helps keep it from chafing and things, so I'm going to put it back on the best I can. We have these two pigtails, once again, going up over the steering column here. And the white facing down. Come on now, these, just, these pigtails really get in the way here. Watch you don't pinch them. I'm sure there's a specific torque for that and I'll let you all figure out what that is. Um, it is what I did. Is what I did. We have it all put together. I'm going to plug those in off camera because it's too much of a pain to try and film up underneath here and uh, then all in all it should be done and I'm going to test and make sure my brake thing works the light comes on that when I hit the brakes hopefully and um, make sure everything starts make sure everything keeps going and then when I'm done with that then I will button everything else up I turn the key and uh, the normal lights that should come on came on. Now that check engine light might stay on, we'll see. Yeah, it might not because I've undid the battery. But I'm not seeing any smoke coming underneath here from anywhere. So uh, that's a good sign that things are somewhat working. And I'm in park. I'm not going to run it very long because yet again I don't have this hooked up to my outdoor venting. We're just going to make sure things run and start at least without smoke hopefully coming out. Alright. And my brake is on so if you see that light. I am going to put it in reverse. Put it in park and shut it off and all appears to be working. I'm going to check all my lights uh, now that I messed with all that wiring. So my emergency flashers are working, if those are working, my blinkers are probably working. But I'm going to check all the systems that have to do with electrical for the most part and uh, figure out or at least make sure that everything is working that should be working. All right, I think unless something happens, which if I have a problem before I put this up, it'll be at the end of this video, but if I have a problem down the road uh, and this ends up being where I need to toggle it some more or mess with it more or something happens with the switch, anything happens, after me you'll be the first to know so thanks for watching junkworks diy garage where i'm proud to say i'm a jack of all and master none you all have a good one